Games in Tokyo. And joining us on the set is Charles Nishikawa, a Japanese businessman working in London, who was a games maker at last year's Olympics. Charles. Yes, that's right. Um, Exciting? Yes. It's, it's, well, that was the, uh, my, probably the best two weeks in my life. And particularly at this time, Tokyo was chosen. And I really wanted people actually back home experience exactly the same excitement I had. And obviously, the London set up the uh, new standard, particularly the, uh, the participation of the uh, volunteers and how much they, they, they can actually perform in the... Uh, well, really ju just looking at these pictures here, yeah. I'm guessing that people are quite excited. Exactly. <laughs> to be honest, the uh, Japanese is not really, really famous for its, uh, expressing their emotions, actually. But if you take a look at the, uh, those pictures, now, you know, we are really, really happy with that. Everyone actually spoken to, uh, they're really excited back home and here. Uh, okay, so, l l I mean, you know, having lived in Britain in the build-up to the Games and then been at the Olympic Park every day during the Games, mm. I mean, th you know, there were kind of enormous cynicism beforehand, it's going to cost too much, do we really need to host it? And then I have never... Britain, London seem like a different city country mm. once the Games were on. What are the issues that Japan will have? Well, there'll be the same questions, for example, over cost. Mm. About the cost, obviously, the, uh, the, it costs a lot. And then the uh, Japanese government and also Tokyo City government actually, actually prepared already. And then they put some like, money already in the bank. Um, however, if you see the, uh, another like, uh, the, the good side of the, uh, the, the you know, result, then the, uh, well, we can generate a lot of like, uh, the, the activities, uh, employment, and new projects. And I hope, that, for instance, like, uh, people like us, the uh, entrepreneurs, they start a new business. Uh, we need to... Uh, not just only the infrastructure side, but also some services, softer side of the uh, data business as well. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, they use the slogan, the Olympics will be safe in our hands. I mean, I wonder whether that was a kind of slight reference to Fukushima and mm. the sad events that unfolded there. Yeah, the Fukushima is always the serious issue there. Um, well, obviously, the, uh, the um, Prime Minister Abe, he made the uh, bold comment uh, during the presentation. Um, now, the, he made a commitment and then the our uh, nation and also people like I tirelessly have to work the uh, day to resolve the issue yeah and can that be done we have to you know it's a uh, the obligation to the world basically yeah and just in terms of the, the I mean because of course Japan hosted the Olympics in uh, 1964 mm. and you've hosted you know, soccer, two, soccer World yeah. Cup mm. as well. And um, two Olymp Winter Olympics as and well. And two Winter mm. Olympics mm. as well. So you're well used to kind of what's mm. involved. I would guess getting it built, mm. because that's been a problem in, you know, there are question marks still over whether Brazil will be ready uh, to host mm. the World Cup, mm. you know, next year. Mm. Um, I, I would think that, you know, Japanese efficiency will kind of prevail there. Mm. Well, it's already like, a, well, we have the track record. Um, infrastructure side, technology side, um, already there and simply we have to fine-tune it. But the important thing is, the more like a softer side, particularly, it's come down to the people and then how we can actually perform and work really hard to make the, uh, the Olympic as a great Olympic. The softer side, that's an interesting point. I mean, I, I, I remember being in Tokyo and thinking, mm. I have never, I, I hope this doesn't sound strange, I have never been to a more foreign city mm. where, you know, I couldn't read any of the street signs, mm. You know, there weren't that many English speakers. Mm. Now, I'm sure it's changing, yeah. but, it, but you, there's a long mm. way to go. Mm. That's exactly what I meant, the, uh, the softer side of that. Obviously, the, uh, the, the infrastructure hardware is already there. To make it efficient and also to welcome people all over the world, we have to be more friendly in terms of the, uh, the, the people. Uh, we, we, we don't want to be in the situation like a lost in translation uh, situation there, lost in the uh, tube. You know, that could be the problem there. But it has to be like uh, they, they sorted out nicely. And I presume you're going to be there in 2020? That's what I want. <laughs> Charles, thank you very much indeed uh, much. for being with us. Do stay with us on Global for the last word in interesting careers. I'll be talking to the chief editor of the Oxford English Dictionary, who's calling it a day after almost 40 years in the business. Do stay with us for that.